This podcast is brought to you by the Washington State Department of Health. When we think about the COVID-19 vaccine hesitancy in the black community, let's remember it didn't happen by chance. It's justified in history. But the will to change the narrative is strong today, and our people are lending their voices to the conversation. We're sharing our stories and the reasons that made us choose the vaccine so we can lead the way for others to make a well-informed choice, too. To hear our stories, visit hereforuswa.org. If 2020 has taught us anything, it's to take nothing for granted. So when you expect hot water and get cold, when you expect the shower to drain and it doesn't, when you turn the furnace on and it won't start, stop freaking and call Beacon Plumbing, Heating, and Mechanical. 1-800-FREAKIN. Hey, this is BJ. Thanks for listening to our show's podcast. If you're a fan of all things geeky, you should check out my other podcast, BJ Shea's Geek Nation. We have new episodes every day, and you can check it out at BJGeekNation.com. Your wages are being garnished. We can stop that now. It's hard enough to pay your bills when things are good, let alone when a big chunk of your take-home pay is gone before you even get your check. I'm bankruptcy attorney Travis Gagné, and I can stop the garnishment and get the creditors off your back immediately, often the same day as our consultation. Both Chapter 7 and 13 provide bankruptcy relief, but choosing the right chapter is crucial. In a free consultation, we can create a plan to get your finances back under your control. The chapter you choose sets the tone for the next chapter of your life. Please contact me today at ChooseTheRightChapter.com. That's ChooseTheRightChapter.com. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. And we got your chance to win tickets to see Def Leppard, Motley Crew, Poison. What? Joan Jett huh? and the Blackhearts. Hey! It's all happening at T-Mobile Park on August 31st. We got your tickets. I need to be there. Well, you can be there. Well, actually, you're probably going to have to find another way. But, uh, uh, other people can be there if they listen all this week between 6 a.m. and 10 p.m. to get the code word. And then you head to the contest page at KISW.com. And that's where you can enter for your chance to win tickets to the show. But you need the code word. What the hell's the code word? Yeah. All right, fine. I suppose. Again, you can't. You know, you. Uh, the code word for our show this morning is sugar. You oh, know, like, pour it on me, baby. Yeah, that's it. Not, not really though. The code word this morning is sugar. Want more info? You know where to go. K i s w dot com. Let's play. For Monday! Oh, yeah. Yeah, get pumped up. We need it. I do. After that great Pump sports day of uh, yesterday. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, buddy. I'll get pumped up eventually someday. Okay. Losing in Seattle Day. Hopefully, hopefully they will at least break their losing streak by the time I go see a game, which <laughs> is in a month. I'm going to the Golden Knights game April 1st. So, I you mean, know, they got a month to, yeah, like, figure something game. out. At this point, I don't know if we're ever going to win again. I'm hoping. Yeah. Oh, it's a, it's a, what they call those, building years. I mean, sure, first year. First year's always building year, right? Yes. Sure, whatever. I know. Well, jerseys still look good. Yeah, they do. <laughs> yes. The team always makes it a point to share when they lose. I yeah. know. I love those. Yeah. Let's get to our contestant today. We got Zach in Marysville. Zach, are you there? I'm here. Excellent. All right, Steve, get out of here. Goodbye. For those playing at home, Zach will have 60 seconds to answer 10 questions. Zach, you can pass all you want, but you will only get three guesses per question. Are you ready? Oh, yeah. Nice. What is the nickname given to Negan's bat on the TV show The Walking Dead? Pass. The worm is a nickname for which former basketball player? Uh, Allen Iverson, no. Magic Johnson, no. Uh, Kobe Bryant. No. What kind of bear is on the California flag? Brown bear? No. Black bear? No. Grizzly? Yes. What superhero sidekick is known as the Boy Wonder? Uh, Robin? Yes. How many syllables are in the word rhinoceros? Four? Yes. Tom Hanks played Chuck Nolan in what early 2000s movie? Um, Castaway? Yes. What number is the Roman numeral XVI? 
30, 40, 50. No, no, no. Which oh. language is the most widely spoken in South America? Uh, next, uh, Spanish? Yes. The safety dance was a hit for which band? Pass. In what country was Arnold Schwarzenegger born? Uh, Austria. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Correct. This is, uh, yeah. Ah. Oh. There were a couple of close ones, man. Super close. This could and have been a really good performance, but he what? just, he, geez, he was close, but no cigar. Yeah, it wasn't a bad performance, though. No. He performed. But I feel like uh, I feel like Steve's going to have the edge. He might on this one, unless yeah. he uh, he pulls a crack in here and can't uh, get oh, it going there. Well, you know what? Wow. If his defense is going to be a little weak, sure. Oh, you know, right. you know, <laughs> we know how his goaltending is, so I think <laughs> he might have a shot. Huge five hole. <laughs> wow. You said it, not me. Are you ready? Oh, yeah! What is the nickname given to Negan's bat on the TV show The Walking Dead? Crap. How do you guys talk about it? Is it Lucille? Yes. Nice. nice. The Worm is the nickname for which former basketball player? Oh, um, Dennis Rodman. Yes. What kind of bear is on the California flag? Ah. Ah, <laughs> uh, crazy bear. Yes. What superhero sidekick is known as the Boy Wonder? That'd be, uh, Bat Boy. Oh, what's his name? Robin. Yes. Bat how many? Boy. How many syllables are in the word rhinoceros? Four. Yes. Tom Hanks played Chuck Nolan in what early 2000s movie? Castaway. Yes. Nice. What number is the Roman numeral XVI? 16. Yes. Which nice. language is the most widely spoken in South America? Spanish. Yes. The safety dance was a hit for which band? T dance. Remember that hat? Yes. We can dance if we want to. In what country was Arnold Schwarzenegger born? Yeah. Austria. Yes, and Steve. Yeah. Perfect 10. And oh, you wow. win. <laughs> hey. Sorry, Zach. Damn. Good game, Steve. Have Thank a good you, day, guys. You too, yeah, my man. You, good day, man. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. Fuck, got money on my mind. I can never get enough. And every time I step up in the building, everybody hands go up. Your friends don't dance, and if you don't and dance, no <laughs> friends of mine. <laughs> you can dance if you want to. Oh yeah, it's I love such that a good song. rendition of it. It's <laughs> such a terrible song, but I love that song. It is not a great song, but it's catchy. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, very catchy. Oh, there you go. I was waiting to see if you could spell it. <laughs> you know, I'm on the fence if there's an e in there or not. There is. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah, there is. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations on your perfect ten. Nice going there, safety boy. <laughs> great. It's like I go and do karaoke, and my whole thing is doing songs that get spelled out, and I spell them wrong. Like respect. Yeah, like R E S P K F R. They just start making up some letters. People be like, "This is what I came to see." Think is this guy dyslexic? What's yeah. going on up there? Let's Dude, see, Speller Boy. Can we laugh at him? Or are we shaming the poor man? Yeah, that's the thing. You don't know if you really can, so right. you probably shouldn't. You spelled safety with a Y and then you should see. And yeah, we don't know what's going on. Well, there is a Y in safety. So. That's true, but not yeah. in the middle of it. Yeah, no, not in the middle. No. No, but you know you're doing okay though. I feel like I, I, I'm proud of you. You know, you, Someone well, you is, go, at least. Yeah, you go there. You know what? Uh, you let your freak flag fly. You go ahead and do it. All right. Next time, I'm drunk at a karaoke bar, which is never. Yeah, I'll right. do that. <laughs> All right. Perfect. I'll be there. Actually, I never go to a karaoke bar, so I'll just be there in spirit. A well-known celebrity just shared how a couple once offered him one hundred fifty thousand dollars to watch them have sex, and then. Give them his critique. You're going to hear from him at 717 on The Rock. BJ and Migs, mornings on The Rock at 99.9 KISW. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. Simon Cowell, you know that guy from American Idol and whatever else he's done. <laughs> Those other things. He's yeah. the X Factor guy. Well, not X Factor. What the hell? Is- he's got talent. Yeah. yeah. Oh I, yeah. He, but he was on X Factor, I think, in England, right? You I might think. be right. Yeah. Maybe. Uh, and British got talent and all that. But we know him mostly for American Idol over here. Um, and he was on Late Night with Seth Meyers, and you know, I forget. I you know, Seth Meyers is really good. I forget that he's on. You know, he's so oh, good. You don't remember he does a show. I, 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 really, you know how it is. It's yes. funny. I feel. You know, it must just be my age. But you know, you remember Letterman. He's on the same time as Letterman was on. But I just, you know, I keep forgetting about it. I know you're about to talk about Simon, but as a quick aside, do you think college people in high school people? Because that was how I fell in love with like the Johnny Carson. Well, not, Johnny Carson was born when I was a little kid, and my mom would watch it. But like David Letterman and Conan O'Brien, I became such a big fan of because in college, I would just stay up late at night. 
And that yeah, was what we would the, watch. But yeah. I don't know if people do that now because there's way more options and there's DVR. Back in my day, we couldn't digitally record things. <laughs> yeah, you know, because like you just watched yeah. whatever was on TV. You called it. You just did the hierarchy, Steve, because it was it was Letterman, then it was Conan in the late night spot, and now Seth has got it. And I and I keep forgetting that. So yeah, I, I don't you're think right. So. I wonder. I wonder if the college people are digging them like you were. No, because people just turn on Netflix and just, yeah, they want to Netflix and chill at mm-hmm. two a.m. They don't want to watch Seth Meyers and chill. They just want to ask. Oh, <laughs> sorry, Seth. Sorry, Seth. With the Netflix. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, at least Simon Cowell was watching because he's on it. <laughs> and he, <laughs> and he uh, shared an insane story about a time that a couple offered him an insane amount of money. To watch them have sex and then judge it. Of course, you know, he turned them down. A couple came up to me in a restaurant and said, we'll pay you X amount of dollars to watch them having sex and will I judge it? And I said, well, how much? And uh, stupidly said no. (laughs) So if you're watching, I'll do it. (laughs) What's the number they throw out? I think it was about 150 grand. Wow. wow. That's a weird number. <laughs> Yo, I do it wow, for 15 man. grand. Yeah. I, I mean, do it for 150 bucks. Yeah, you know, depending well, on the month or right? what time. <laughs> towards the end, it's like I haven't got my paycheck yet. <laughs> that 150 could go a long ways. Man, dude. So what's it going to be like? Wee, wee, wee. Wah, wah, wah. That was horrible. <laughs> exactly. I mean, yes. that's exactly. Sounds like what the, that's what they're looking like, for. Ooh, baby, yeah. I really, really, really hated that. <laughs> yeah. Good. <laughs> Oh, yeah. That, that's exactly $150,000 worth for that. The guy's too vocal. He's like, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, again, if you had a lot of money and you don't mind, you're into that people watching you. It's, it is pretty funny that he'd be judging you. And if you could have that all on video, how hysterical would that be? If someone offered you a, a game changer amount of money, because I don't care how rich you are, $150,000 is a lot of money. Yeah. Someone offered you money that you feel like can make a, like a difference in whatever it is, paying your bills. Like, would you do it? Would you watch somebody have sex to critique it? Oh, definitely. Yeah. I would, do it. I would yeah. do it right now for $150,000. That's not a game changer like where I could retire, but it's still a good amount of money. Oh, it's a game changer. So many bills can be paid off. I wouldn't have to worry about student loans. Oh, that's a good point. Credit right. card bills. Yeah. To mm-hmm. me, it'd be like yeah. so many uh, checks that I have to, well, not checks, but you know what I mean. So many payments you have to make per month are gone. Hell, someone yes. just said, I'll cover your MasterCard. I'd be like, yes, let's do this. In. Yeah. Yeah. Can I bring popcorn? <laughs> Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. So you're right. For a lot of people, that is a game changer. You know, what a weird uh, visual. Sir, so, no, yeah. food in the, no food in the bedroom, please. Yeah. You guys are doing great. <laughs> oh, yeah. Steve's got to have the popcorn. That's part of it. Otherwise, he's just, he can't do it. Do you <laughs> send me a link? Are you Venmoing me the money? How's this working? Could you imagine if Steve got paid to do that and then fell asleep like he does with everything else? <laughs> zero out of zero. Yeah. yeah. Rather boring. <laughs> yeah, sorry. That's just what I, I I can't help it. The room got hot. I got tired. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. It did get hot in there. Hot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, it's the lukewarm topic of the day. So Simon Cowell just shared a story about how a couple offered him $150,000 to watch them have sex and then judge it. <laughs> so Amazing. based on this, we want to know... What is the strangest offer you or someone you know has received? 206-421-ROCK. Text us at 77999. We got your calls. We got your texts after the Chili Peppers on The Rock. BJ and Migs. Mornings on The Rock. 99.9 KISW. This podcast is brought to you by the Washington State Department of Health. When we think about the COVID-19 vaccine hesitancy in the black community, let's remember... It didn't happen by chance. It's justified in history. But the will to change the narrative is strong today. And our people are lending their voices to the conversation. We're sharing our stories and the reasons that made us choose the vaccine so we can lead the way for others to make a well-informed choice, too. To hear our stories, visit hereforuswa.org. When the hot water needs to be hot, when the drain needs to drain, when the toilet needs to flush, you need to do two things. Stop freaking and call Beacon. Beacon Plumbing Heating and Mechanical. On call in there when you need them most. 1-800-FREAKIN or beaconplumbing.net. Take the next step toward the career you want, be it business, cybersecurity, healthcare, or more. UMGC can help you get there. No application fee when you apply by August 31st. Visit umgc.edu. Certified to operate by CHEV. 
99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. Simon Cowell just shared a story about how a couple offered him $150,000 to watch them have sex and judge it. That based- was horrible. That was horrible, man. And what we want to know is, what is the strangest offer that you or someone you know has received? 206-421-ROCK, text us at 77999. Let's go to Casey in Seattle. Casey, you are on The Rock. Morning, fellas. Morning, Casey. All right, was it you or someone you know that got a very bizarre offer? No, it was me. Actually, I did uh, mobile maintenance on RVs. Uh, you call me up, I come out, I fix your heater, what have you. And it hadn't been the first time that someone had offered to either have me join in or do a foursome type deal. Really? And uh, I'm on my clipboard. Well, you know, I went to a lot of RVs, and sometimes there aren't the most scrupulous people that you know have recreational vehicles. But, anyways. Uh, they offered, uh, after I'm filling out the paperwork, inside my clipboard, I have a picture of my girlfriend because she's quite attractive. And this is when I'm in my 20s. So, you know, I do pretty well myself. Anyways, this wasn't the first time it happened. But the odd part about it, uh, when I kind of said, you know, I appreciate the offer, but I really don't think my girlfriend would be too into it. The guy was a commercial fisherman, and he offered to send me fresh fish. Oh, oh I would take that. that. I mean, that's not a euphemism, right? He's... Oh, no, 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 not at all. No, and she was she was quite lovely, actually. His his wife or significant other, but uh, I, you know, the fish thing that that uh, that really kind of put a damper on the whole mood. <laughs> yeah, if, you, if you if you do if you do if you and your uh, your girlfriend do us, you get fresh fish forever, pal. What a Which, crazy world! They're like, hey, I need my engine or something fixed. Okay, it's going to cost like six hundred dollars to fix it. Well, how about you can have sex with my wife? Is that going to we make that work? Is that yeah? Wouldn't that, wouldn't that be such a weird thing? <laughs> Yeah, and then it was, again, it was it was weird. It really would have been a killer if he'd offered me crabs. <laughs> that would have totally done it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah some of the best point. dungeness. Yeah, <laughs> you hope. I mean, you know, yeah. it's. Uh, I mean, those deals have been happening. You know, in the history of humanity. So I suppose. Um, you know, I don't know. I know when I was a younger man, couldn't really get anything going on. I wonder if I would have taken somebody up on that offer just because of the way, like, you know what? I, I can always get paid in money, but I wasn't always able to get paid in that. I couldn't even get that free. I couldn't even pay, you know, I couldn't even pay for it. I, I was, I was, you know, I was not a very lucky man. So I might, I, who knows if I would have said yes in my single days. I'm finding great humor in watching you talk about this as your daughter is sitting literally right next to you. <laughs> well, I wanted to know the origin story of her brother's ability to have no game. <laughs> So the apple apple doesn't fall too far from the virgin tree, huh? Yeah, not at all. Damn! And uh, since you brought it up... Allegedly. Since you you brought it up, uh, Sarah is following in her mother's footsteps. That's all I want to say. Oh. Oh. Are you moving to California? Is that that a good thing? I'm not even sure. What are you trying to say about mom? Uh, mom? Yeah, tell us, BJ. What are you trying to say about mom? I've always said it before (laughs) about, 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 about my wife. My wife was much more experienced than I was. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so you're saying your she, she, daughter then is just like, Mom, she's, hence she's, your daughter is... Well, she's taking sticks of gum from people and going, all right, let's do this. True. We're, we're just free-spirited, man. We just go where the just, sticks of gum or the attractive men or yeah, maybe exactly. women. Where the taco oh. truck goes. Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. We no. get where, where we're invited. Is this breaking news for anybody? I no, don't it's just it's always it's, weird when Dad talks about it. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. I, I'm very, very upfront. That mom, I would like to say, probably was... Was a bit of a whore back in Whoa, the day. There we go. Whoa! So, don't don't, don't okay, hold no. back. And now all of a sudden, who's, who's the bad guy? Well, I mean, I feel like 100. I can call my mom a whore. I don't know if your wife would appreciate you calling her that back in the day, but I, uh, I can, I feel I, uh, like. Uh, well, I don't know clear. if you can either, to be honest with you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I don't think she'd be very okay. shocked if I was like, Mom, I knew you were probably getting around before okay, you met I, Dad. Uh, can I just say that never one time did the word whore come from my lips. Oh. I was very tactful. <laughs> so tactful. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes. We all heard it. Yes. No, you were just the epitome of, of, of grace and I was grace and, and respect. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. you were. You were it. So is that what's what's the offer for you there, Sarah? The crazy offer. I think one of the craziest offers is I think like Vicky and I, we get some offers in our DMs yeah. sometimes, but one guy <laughs> <laughs> we just get those picks whether we ask or not. Right, it's the strangest offer. I think one guy just wanted, he offered me $500 just to cuddle him. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Seems I mean, easy be, money, wow. man. It's thank you. That's what I thought, too. It would be an hour, which kind of mm-hmm. is like a long time, I feel like, just to hold someone or well, have them hold Do you get me. to watch a show together? Yeah, because yeah, an hour will thinking. fly by. 
Let's just put in a movie. I'll, yeah. I'll fall asleep. I'll cuddle you. You cuddle me. It'll be fine. J yeah. Rubs isn't really a big fan of this though, but I'm like, it's easy, five hundred dollars. Oh yeah, yeah, I can understand that. Yeah, that's a this, that's yeah. a single Sarah thing yeah, that this, you can take advantage. Yeah, then, then you, I'd be like, yeah, go for it, but no, nah, you don't do that when you have a. a Hold on a second, but did you did, did you get what that? What, but she pretty much said he isn't a big fan of it, which means there was a conversation. <laughs> yeah, that of is a, course that, there was. Why? Yeah. Is yeah. the five hundred dollars worth it to make your your significant other well, that? asked how he would feel about it because we've had this conversation like I could have answered hey. that for you. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, you know, he, I think all of us could have. I think J Rubs thinks he'd be cool with like, oh yeah, baby, if you had an OnlyFans, like it's fine. That's like, different than cuddling with someone though. OnlyFans, you're not really around the person. Yeah, but okay, is it different than pictures though? Me sending them him pictures, like you know, I, I kind of you know, to him. I feel like it is. Really? Okay. I feel like the actual physical touch would be crossing the line. Yeah. So let me ask you a question. But that's just a, that's, a, that's just a personal thing. Obviously, it's case by case. I'm not. I can't speak for Johnny Rubbers. Yeah. I can't speak for myself. But I would be less bothered if, like, my significant other was like, "Hey, I'm selling pictures of me wearing, you know, I don't know." But your clothes are on, right? I mean, How, I whatever. I mean, maybe. sometimes, like, what if you DM me and be like, "Hey, I want a personal pic of you in pasties." Well, no, just I, for oh, me, okay. type well, of thing. Was, you know? Yeah. Okay. How about the cuddling? The cuddling was with the, the cuddling clothes would on. Be with clothes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. The cuddling's clothes on. So here's a question: because oh. we are a weird society. Yes. So, and I and Steve, I'm with. I am with you, Steve. That I feel like I don't know. Cuddling is intimate, but at the same time, clothes are on. It's an hour. Yet my massage therapist. You know, I'm naked. Now, granted, they don't touch the, the part, but I'm completely right. naked under there, and they touch every part of my body except the stuff you're not supposed to touch for an hour. Sometimes right. 90 minutes, you, you can get that done. So that we don't bat an eye at, but I wonder, or do you think there are significant others that get mad yes. at, at the people about, I think because they work in massage? I am positive there are significant others that are not okay with their, their person, their relationship, getting a massage from someone of the opposite sex. Hmm. Oh, not really? me personally. I'm not saying... I. When my wife gets oh. massages, I never even bother to ask. Like, I'm just like, cool, get a massage. Like, whatever, you know, that seems silly to get mad about. But I know that there are people that are like, you can get a massage, but you can't get one from a, from a dude. Or you can't get one from a chick. That's my guy and girl impression. Oh, that's really, <laughs> that's pretty good. Yeah, I really yeah. feel like I'm right there in the drama. Whoa. Right. Wow. So, yeah, there are people that would get weirded out by that. What about the other way around, that your person works as a massage therapist, and they have to uh, massage whoever they're told to massage. They don't get to pick I and choose. there are arguments out there. There I probably mean, are. Some people are so jealous about that kind of thing. And these yeah. are legitimate massage therapists. It's not like, yeah. you know, the, 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 the these yeah. are, you know, I'm not talking about the, you know, the, oh, happy ending people. I'm talking about people that their just job is to, you know, physically therapy and all that. <laughs> Are you not talking about Big Bertha's backdoor massage parlor? Excuse me? <laughs> oh, wow. Oddly that specific, is Steve. A, it surely Renton. is. I feel like that's a place <laughs> in Renton, you said. Well, uh, I see all these yeah, random uh, massage places in Renton that are always like, enter from the backside. Or like, you know, like, they have like, a, like <laughs> pardon me? Oh, yeah, the back door. Think, yeah. Get your mind out of the gutter. I really feel like this is, is this, a, a, okay. I mean, and I'm like, like, that sounds shady. <laughs> Oh, you think? I could be um, wrong. So it's Bertha's Big Back Door Massage Parlor. No, place? Big Bertha's Back Door Massage Parlor. Ah, uh, yeah. I hope they, you they got that. Groupons. Go check it okay, out. Okay, good. Thank you. Uh, make sure you send me a link. Um, there we go. I did a little little Googling here, and there is a cuddle parlor in Oregon. And for a 60-minute session. Did, did Danny and uh, Joe end up there? Yeah. It's a different one. Oh, sure it is. Wow. Uh, but one hour sessions, 80 bucks. So you would have been getting paid a lot more. Wow. See, this is a business. It's it, like go, getting a yeah, so You can wow. apply to work there. I feel like I got news for you all. The cuddle parlor is more than cuddles. Mm. That, if I had to, if I had to put some money down, I think oh. I would. I'd go to Vegas and put money down on the fact that the cuddle parlor may offer cuddles, but I bet if you tip people well, you're gonna yeah. go. But where. that's a case by case. I'm looking at the pictures of this, and I I get the vibe that it's not. Yeah, but it really? doesn't seem that. But you never outside. know. There might be that one girl that works yeah. there. That's. <laughs> Oh, I'm, I'm not I'm on the sorry. up and up, if you know oh, what yeah. I mean. Wait, I mean so that's like a legitimate, like, come on in and get cuddled. And yeah. really, there's no funny business. It's really? all platonic cuddling. Yeah. Did, did wow. they provide links to nearby uh, eating establishments, if you know what I mean? <laughs> I, I, what? <laughs> like the Acropolis. Or, or nearby uh, brothels where yeah. Joe and I ended up at. <laughs> like, oh, you want more? <laughs> Go yeah, to this dude, place. Looking at this website, I don't get the vibe that this oh. is uh, uh, that they've got any ulterior motives other than to just solely cuddle you. 
I, I, we okay. should go and try. Wow. wow. Okay. I have no interest. <laughs> is, that a, is, is that a furry or just a big stuffed animal? It's a big stuffed animal, stuffed BJ. Animal. Okay. Then. Yeah, there's nobody inside that. Get your mind out of the gutter. <laughs> well, I don't know. I mean, I'm not. I mean, a furry's not always sexual. I mean, that's why I thought maybe somebody wanted to be a furry and cuddle. I, 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 I why wouldn't the cuddle part uh, like serve everybody and all their interests? Mm. You know, the Ted Smith oh, loves laws. his mascots. Why, why, why can't you go cuddle a mascot? I'm sure if you want to make one of those places, go ahead. You know, the Ted Smith and I are going to make money off this. A cuddle parlor, but where you get to cuddle all the mascots. Yeah, good luck Who would want to cuddle Gritty? I would cuddle the living hell out of Gritty. <laughs> oh, there you go. Now Steve okay, sold. Now you're in. Okay, yeah. now you're a million dollar idea. I'm in. Finally, I have an idea. Usually it's Steve, but now I'm the one with the cool ideas. Looks like they even make cupcakes for you. That's so awesome. So after you cuddle, you get a cupcake? I, I, I'm here for it. Yeah. Actually, I have to say that's not a bad deal. <laughs> Give me that cupcake. <laughs> and the lady looked really nice. She looked very like new agey, new thoughty, you know, sort yeah. of kind of like. That's why, made, yeah, I didn't get the vibe yeah. that she was going to go oh, in that session. You know, it's like. <laughs> See, that's how they get you, though. See, they're trying to trick the police. Okay. A wholesome girl next door vibe. Yeah, the most then, innocent ones yeah. are the craziest. Is her name Bertha? Oh, she no. just took her mask off. See, she's naughty. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, well, she does not look like someone that would. I don't know what that person looks like. Yeah, but what do you mean? She doesn't look like, she, she she doesn't look like someone like, that would. Uh, every woman uh, that has sex is that woman that would have sex. Now, granted, they won't, don't get me. No, you're right. I mean, yeah, I just don't get. I'm not getting the vibe that this cuddle place is of. A right, naughty I'll, variety. We should. I think you and Danny should get down and do research because you surely know places that are the naughty variety since you somehow find them. So you and Danny get down and do the research. I don't know. What to, Danny does. Yeah, you're right. Oh, yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll, Danny, I'll, yeah, I'll go along. Your guide. Bad choice yeah. of words. But I'll go along for the ride. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, hello. Okay, then. Uh, last night at the Screen Actors Guild Awards, Michael Keaton, he won an award, but he was in the bathroom when his name was announced. So you're going to hear how he handled that at 747 on The Rock. Today's podcast was brought to you by Travis Gagne, bankruptcy attorney. He's here right now and has agreed to answer more of your questions about bankruptcy. Here's another listener question. How do I rebuild my credit after filing bankruptcy? Uh, you rebuild it, you know, one creditor at a time by making your payments on time to, on your on your rent or your mortgage, by continuing to make car payments at, on a car that you keep during your case. Um, you can also, as I said, you can almost always get a credit card almost immediately after filing bankruptcy. Sometimes it's a secured card and it'll almost always have a really high interest rate on it, but you can get a small balance credit card and you know, charge a tank of gas or, or a dinner once a month on that and make the payment, pay it off every month, and that'll help you build a credit history one creditor at a time and will help you rebuild your credit over time. Thanks, Travis. If you have more questions about bankruptcy, you can reach out to Travis anytime at choosetherightchapter.com. That's choosetherightchapter.com. Thanks for listening. This podcast is brought to you by the Washington State Department of Health. When we think about the COVID-19 vaccine hesitancy in the black community, let's remember, it didn't happen by chance. It's justified in history. But the will to change the narrative is strong today, and our people are lending their voices to the conversation. We're sharing our stories and the reasons that made us choose the vaccine so we can lead the way for others to make a well-informed choice, too. To hear our stories, visit hereforuswa.org.